famous Shibuya Scramble Crossing. This is a Sunday so it's quite calm but I dare say Monday morning it's going to get absolute madness. Anyway, I've got to get to the top of that building for the observation deck. I've seen a bit. Good morning from the top of the Tokyo Municipal Government Building. I've been in Japan now 11 days, 12 days, 12 days. And ever since I arrived here, I just wanted to see Mount Fuji. Follow me. single tra traveller in the APA Hotel Higashi in Shinjuku I'll just give you a 360 of what to expect when you get here so you come through the door and you've got places to hang your clothes up mirror bin and you can segregate recycling and waste Fresh bags of uh, linen, uh, not linen, uh, towels, sorry. Slippers, shoe on, slippers, bag hooks, coat hooks, television, a view, quite impressive. Uh, lamps, and then a control station here which controls every light in the place. Bathroom, hallway, desk, ceiling light, and then the little knob there is for the uh, little lamp. A clock, some origami, tissues, uh, you get a fridge, uh, a seat, a desk, telephone, kettle, various magazines, although in Japanese, and then in here you get like the smallest tub in the world, but it works perfectly. A very powerful shower, a sink, Morning. towels, controls for your toilet, toilet, and it's all spotless, absolutely spotless. Uh, so there you are, very very small single room but uh, totally perfect for the solo traveller.
95 minimums every one of those. Just colossal monsters. So we've just come up to one of the local beauty spots and you can see right over the mountains in the distance still with snow on I'll try and do a 360 but I think I might actually run into the sun so I'm sorry about that and then just as I turn round we've got a selection of mud ponds and then beyond the mud ponds is the road we've just come up yeah that sun's a bit bright sorry but all the way around I did promise you 360 you get 360 you paid your money there you go back to the colonials what we're talking about Indiana Denver, yeah, there you go. Oh, New Jersey. Right, we're at the monster pond. And these guys are pulling out the seine net, splashing, making a noise on the left hand side, herding all the koi basically towards me. This is where they'll be lifted out. And then over to Ryan, and then Liam just popped into shot. So they'll be pushing them to this point. I don't know how many fish there is, but there are some uh, huge pieces here. Beautiful day, about 23 degrees. Happy days. at the Koi Museum. I'm just going to feed some of these bad boys, see if they're hungry at all. Beautiful mate. Thank you. Hey, you got shorts, I'm doing long time. Hey Ryan, you got the long time, obviously. Hey. Right. Hey, look. Hey. Kiyotsuri. Kinrin Chagoy. Another Chagoy coming in. Sort of going. Oh, sort of going. Sorry, boy. Sorry, boy. Nice. The video, the video doesn't do it justice. These koi are massive. Hey, hey, hey. 
to your cherry pond. That's fine. We put a lot of big toy in the back of that cave truck. So some of these guys are a little tired. So they put them in here, got them reacclimated a little bit, some fresh water, and then they'll move them inside. Get macromated. Yes. Remember that means? Climate science in English, isn't it? Climate science in English. So this is day five, another harvest, and this is Shintaro Sansai. And there must be about 20 of us here now. I've come to the far side of this uh, mud pond just to try and capture everything, so I hope you can see this all right. Only a short video. There you go.